Hi everyone, I am Ms. Nantani from Faculty of Law Enforcement in Smart College. So for today's series, I'm going to explain about remand and its basic principles. A person can be arrested and detained in lockup for 24 hours. However, if they want to keep the person for more than 24 hours, they have to produce them in magistrate in order to get remand order. Section 28, subsection 1. If the police arrested a person without warrant, they have to produce them in magistrate before 24 hours. This is because no person shall deprive their liberty. Section 117 of Criminal Procedure Code states that if a police officer cannot complete his investigation within 24 hours, he need to produce the arrested person in front of the magistrate with the copy of entries and investigation diaries. Section 117 of Criminal Procedure Code state that the magistrate shall not pass the order of remand exit than 4 days if the punishment of imprisonment is less than 14 years. Also, the court may order for the remand if the punishment is must punish with imprisonment more than 14 years they can detain not more than seven days in their first application and second application. The part of proceeding in magistrate court, whether they want to detain the arrested person or release the arrested person, we call them as remand proceeding. The period of detention person of arrested, we can call them as remand period. Also, the court may detain the person further under remand pending investigation. Also, when the magistrate shall pass the order of remand, the lawyer must be get the information such as the date, the time and the expiry of remand. It is merely not enough for two days for the order of remand. Therefore, the lawyer must insist the magistrate to stipulate the order of remand in order to release exact time. That's all for today's series on learning basic principles of remand. So, I'm Ms. Nantani from Faculty of Law Enforcement. Please do join Smart College. Be smart, be different.